uh, let's see the mathematical proof of this. Let's have a coordinate like this and let it be origin. Uh, this is the point with respect to which we are looking at the velocity of each object. Suppose this is body A and this is body B. Now body B is uh, not stationary, it is moving. Both A and B are moving. At any point of time, the displacement of B with respect to O will be this vector, position vector, that is a displacement vector. And similarly, the displacement of A with respect to origin is this uh, vector. Now, displacement of A with respect to B would be a vector starting from B and ending in A because displacement of B with respect to our origin is a vector starting from origin and ending at B. So if you're talking about displacement of A with respect to B, it will be this vector. Now, because we have studied vector algebra already, it shouldn't be a problem for us to say that a position vector of B plus position vector of A with respect to B, this vector, is equal to position vector of A from triangular law of vector addition. Simple. Now, if we are going to differentiate both sides, differentiation, differentiating both sides is allowed, as uh, we have discussed before, because, you know, it's a mathemat mathematical operation. Like, it's allowed to multiply both sides by a number. It's allowed to square both sides. It's allowed to take square root on both sides. Similarly, we can differentiate both sides, and that's not going to hamper the equality. So let's differentiate both sides. Now differentiation of displacement we know is velocity. So displacement of position vector of B with respect to time is actually velocity of B. So this is velocity of B plus velocity of A with respect to B is equal to velocity of A. Now, from here we can see uh, velocity of A with respect to B will be equal to velocity of A minus velocity of B. These are vectors. These are vectors. I'm just putting the vector sign at the last stage, but they all are vectors. We know. So uh, this is how we get it. Velocity of A with respect to B is equal to velocity of A minus velocity of B. This is the first formula that we are studying in relative velocity. Okay. Okay, so you got the proof of maths and now you should start your mind and think about the physical situation that you have come across and cross check this formula whether it works. Okay, let me write it once again. Velocity of A vector with respect to B, velocity of A with respect to B vector is velocity of A vector minus velocity of B vector. This is the formula that we have got. Now let's see uh, how we'll be using this formula in different situations. Suppose A and B are moving in the same direction. Then uh, velocity of A with respect to B will be simple subtraction of velocity of A and velocity of B. If they are moving in opposite direction, like this, then uh, you have to take the sign into account. If this is A and you are considering this to be positive, then the velocity of B will come with a negative sign because of the fact that it is in just opposite direction. So in that case, velocity of A with respect to B will actually be velocity of A vector plus velocity of B vector. They will be added up. Okay. If they are perpendicular with respect to each other, suppose this is velocity of A, this is velocity of B, then velocity of A with respect to B vector will, will be velocity of A vector minus velocity of B vector. Now, suppose if you write velocity, this, if you take this to be y axis, you would write as VA i cap. And then VB will become VB j cap. This is how you would write. And if you're looking at the magnitude of relative velocity vector, that would be equal to root over 
VA square plus VB square. This we have seen before. You know, that's why it was important to study vector and calculus uh, properly. Now things will become very easy for you. The analysis, the working part will be easy. And similarly, uh, if they are moving at any angle, if this is how the velocity vectors are at an angle theta, then you know what the magnitude would be. When two vectors are at an angle theta, their magnitude is VA square. If this is how it is, VA and VB, then actually a relative velocity vector is VA vector minus VB vector. If this is VB vector, then minus VA vector is going to be this vector. So don't do mistake like this. VA vector minus VB vector, the angle is theta, then the for relative velocity, the angles that you're looking for is not, you're not doing VA vector plus VB vector, you're doing VA vector minus VB vector. And for that, we know VA vector minus VB vector is VA squared plus VB squared minus 2VA VB cos theta. So all these formulas we have done before, these things are easy. What are we have what we have studied now is just velocity of a with respect to b is velocity of a minus velocity of b and these are vector quantities you don't have to do just scalar algebra here. The reason why we studied vector algebra because we want to deal with vector quantities now.